preachers with your own sound, oh, saith God, a sound of lively stones that have been raised up to bring forth this sound of heaven in the earth, saith the Lord. Yea, ye are escorting in a realm and a day of mine that man has never known and has never been a part of. But I have burnt you for this hour, saith God. Be not afraid to think this way. Be not afraid to act this way. Be not afraid to know about the day in this spirit. For I have caused you to come into this hour. This is your time, saith God. And I have opened the door. And no man shall shut it, saith God. Yeah. 
mind of a back burner, saith God. Even your trials and tribulations and testings and things you have had to go through, saith God, I have pushed them to the back of the burner. See them no more in front, but it's just little things you've got to take care of because the big picture is what I'm getting ready to do, saith the Lord. The big picture is what the glory that I'm ready to unveil in you, saith God. These lot of afflictions which are but for a moment shall prove to be a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory for I shall do exceeding and abundantly and above all you shall ask your faith say the Lord hallelujah
the walk. And yea, ye shall look within yourselves and say, My God, I didn't know I had this much space. I didn't know this house was this big. But I say to you, child of God, you'll need one that big to hold the glory that I'm getting ready to move through you. It'll take every ounce of it because I'm claiming it all for mine, saith the Lord. I get all the glory. I get all the praise for it's mine, saith God. For he that built the house hath greater glory, saith God. And I'm emptying you and freeing you up so that you can flow in me, saith God. you are free in me this night. Walk in me and be free. Do not doubt anything. I have set you totally free tonight. Do not be afraid to walk where I've called you to walk. Go into that area that I've called you to go. I tell you, I've brought you to a new order. This is not an old order. This is the new order I say unto you. Walk in freedom tonight. Walk in freedom. Do as the Spirit calls you to do. Because you are free in me tonight. Do not look back. Look forward because you are free. Okay.
this is where a lot of people need to know that when the New Testament talks about meeting the Lord, the word meet there means you meet him to usher him. You don't meet to leave, you meet to enter a new, totally new dimension. That when the when the uh, uh, saints went to greet Paul, the Bible said they went out to meet him, and they met him with joy and brought him into their city. Hallelujah! We've never denied the coming of the Lord. No, sir. I guarantee you, I believe more in the coming of the Lord right now than anybody in this town, city, county, or state who is hunting all the flying away. I believe in meeting him, but in a far deeper realm Amen. than just some old natural, physical. My Lord. God. Hallelujah. I believe in meeting him in another world, another dimension. Lord. And, 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 and I hear the Spirit tonight saying to us who have all in our vessels as well as our land, Behold the bridegroom coming. Lord. Go ye out to meet him. My God, where did they meet him? They met him in the love feast. They met him in the bridal chamber. Somebody say Lord. praise the Lord. Them people that went to meet the bridegroom, they didn't meet him in some natural geographical moving location. They met him inside the house where the marriage supper. The marriage feast was being offered. What is the marriage feast? I'll tell you one thing. It ain't it ain't natural bread and steak and 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 great wine, my God, but it is the feast we eat in him. Oh hallelujah. In that more excellent way. That more excellent ministry. Isn't that right? Because he said that that love realm was the more excellent way. And agape means love feast. He's invited you to a love feast. And in order to meet him, you're going to have to get up from where you are. Are you hearing me? And move out to meet him. And guess where you meet him? What hour you meet him? Glory to God. Midnight. It ain't night time and it ain't daytime. Hello? It's in between the two. Amen. Somebody say praise the Lord. Glory. Oh, hallelujah. Glory. Oh, and I can hear the Lord saying that tonight. You're meeting me in another world. You're going out Glory. in your boots now. Hello? That was a requirement to celebrate the Feast of Tabernacles. You could <laughs> celebrate it in your own realm. You couldn't celebrate it in your own house with your own doctrine and your own view. You, every man had to leave his house and enter into a booth. They had to build a booth. Glory. Are you hearing? Oh, hallelujah. And I can hear the Lord saying now, we're in our booths. We're in our booths. And we're fixing to celebrate, brother, sister of mine. We're fixing to celebrate. Glory. Are you hearing me? Glory. I don't mean I'm telling you your weeping's lasted long enough. Glory. Joy. Joy. Amen. Joy is coming in the morning. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm going to tell you what you felt tonight is the more excellent mission. What you felt tonight is God saying to you, I'm giving you a foretaste of what I've called you to be a part of. Lord. Let me tell you something, folks. The reason he's emptied you out is because he's taken the whole house. Right. Are you hearing me? Right. He's taken the whole house. Thank God he didn't just say measure the temple, but he said measure the people that worship therein. Somebody say amen. Glory. And make it all a part of what I'm about to do. Lord, have mercy. And I wish that somehow God could let you see just what it is that He is doing and is about to do. Glory. 
you talk about a capturing, captivating apprehension. It is the high calling. It truly is. I don't think it's no coincidence that the Lord moved on me to write that book and then he's just now going to get it to where it will be unveiled right at the time when he's speaking this word and this message. He's given us a sign, folks. Glory. Oh, hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. And we're no longer going to know one another by the flesh. We're going to know one another by the Spirit. Glory. Are you hearing me? I'm looking Glory. at you tonight and somehow or another I can't even see in a flesh look. I see the spiritual. I see the spiritual. Glory. I see you in another realm because you've been in one. Hallelujah tonight. Glory. Amen, 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 amen. And the Lord says this isn't going to cease, folks. I'm going to tell you this ain't for these folks. It's moody. And one service, they're all in it. And the next service, they're all mooted out. That's all out of court stuff. Yes. That's all out of court stuff. You ain't going to be no more of this on fire Sunday and half, half here Wednesday. God's done move the furniture. He's done took the pictures off the wall. He put everything you had on the front. The Holy Ghost said he put on the back. What, did that, what does that do to our worries? Glory. The whole church. Glory. I said, what does that do to our worries? What does that do to our problems? The Glory. Lord said that ain't important. Praise. That's what the Holy Ghost said. That ain't important. I put that on the back burner. That's right. Ooh, I'm glad he has. I said, I'm glad he has. Because if he put it on the back burner, he'll put your eyes on something better than what you put it on. He'll set your affections. I said, he'll set your affections on things above, not on things beneath. Where Christ, who is our life, is appearing. Somebody say, praise And when Christ, who is our life, shall appear. And let me tell you, honey, I don't mind to tell you one thing. When he who is our life is appearing, he's appearing right here on the inside of us. That's the reason he said, then shall ye appear also with him in glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me tell you something. A lot of people can't admit it because they're not in there in their walk yet, but all that groaning, burden, sorrow, troublesome walks and trials and tribulations been for one reason, your birth and the coming of the Lord. Glory. And I'm not talking about, you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the coming of the Lord forth in His saints when He comes forth to be glorified in His saints. Isn't that what Thessalonians says? When He shall come to be glorified in His Saints. Glory. So you better sharpen your ears if they ain't sharp. You know how I meant to preach to you on that axe head? Keeping that edge wet, sharp, cutting edge. You better get your hearing sharp. Glory to God. Because before this thing comes in power, why, how does it come? It comes in word, don't it? The kingdom comes in word and power, doesn't it? Praise the Lord. What do you think is going to produce the evidence of it? The word going forth and being spoken in this hour. And he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith Glory. unto the churches. You better get your hearing sharp before you come into these services because I'm telling you from now on, there ain't no telling what the Lord's is saying. He has said stuff in this year that has never been said in our hearing. Because he's got us to the point now where we can transition. Step over. Step over. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The high priest, he couldn't find no split in that veil. There wasn't one. He can't run around and try to climb behind it. You can't do it. Hello, church. You didn't know how to get through that veil. Ain't but one way he could get through it. The Spirit had to translate it into the Holy of Holies. Somebody say praise Amen. the Lord. Glory. My God, folks, that wasn't a curtain you just walked up. Uh, are you listening to me? That wasn't a curtain you just walked up to and found an entrance way. Amen. Hello. That was a partition of division. Are you hearing me? The Lord, by a new and living way, that is to say through the veil of the 
this flesh. Glory. Well, praise God, you better go home. <laughs> I'm telling you now, you ain't safe at all. Uh, back there tonight. Amen. There's too much spirit here. Amen. And you Glory. get to see all that stuff, you want to tell it all at once. Yep. But I believe the Holy Ghost is going to help us tell just enough for just enough to be digested. To bring about a change in his people. Hallelujah. And somewhere in one of these services, are you hearing me? I'm crossing over the border. Amen. We're crossing over the border. Yes, Glory. Jesus went in and never come out. If you'll go in, he'll get... If you'll go in and meet him in that realm, he'll come out then, but he'll come out in you. Somebody say praise Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. If you want to see him, go get him and bring him out. Glory. Go meet him in another realm. If you want to see the Lord, you'll have to go meet him and bring him forth. Yes. His appearing. Somebody say praise, praise the Lord. Glory. He's not some wispy wind floating in the clouds. He's not some blob somewhere of supernatural sustenance that just hangs around. But he's the living essence of his body, the church. Glory. And bless God, it's the church that's going to bring in the appearing of the Lord. He's Glory. not taking us out and then appearing. He's going to appear right here yes. in the midst of his congregation. Glory. Somebody say praise.